Today on Primetime Local News, I'm joined by Anne Wasco, who is the chair of the Canadian Roundtable for Sustainable Beef. Today we're talking about certification requirements for beef. So Anne, can you walk me through what's required of producers for their meat to be considered CRSB certified? Okay, so the CRSB Certified Sustainable Program is first of all a voluntary program and it's outcome based, what it, it measures the different um, practices that our uh, producers are, are using on their operations. Um, there's several different indicators across five different areas. So it's not kind of just one thing, but they involve uh, different indicators for natural resources, looking at you know, different sustainability indicators. Um, animal health and welfare is the second one. Uh, people and community is the third one. Food, and the fifth one is um, innovation and uh, efficiency. So all of those different topics, they all have kind of parts that um, that you're you're measured on and audited on uh, in terms of of meeting um, that that claim for for sustainability and certification. And it goes through an, an audit process. Obviously, there's third party um, auditors and um, certification bodies that come to your farm or ranch and and go through the audit um, with you. As well, when the cattle leave the operation and until they do get to the packing plant, well, the cattle and the beef are all tracked through the system. So it's, um, it's a, a all encompassing uh, program, I would say, to reward producers that are looking to, to be recognized for going that extra mile. And so I'm wondering, you know, when a producer comes to, you know, a CRSB and says, hey, sign me up, I want to get certified. Are there a lot of changes that they have to make to their production? Or would you say that, you know, the average, you know, everyday Canadian farmer is already, you know, pretty closely aligned with those sustainability goals that you guys have set out? Well, I'll maybe speak from a personal experience on that one. So I would consider our operation, we're a cow-calf operation in southwest Saskatchewan. And um, I, when we went through the process here, of course, you know, nervous, you know, what is it going to entail and all those kinds of things. But I'll tell you at the end of the day, what it really meant um, in terms of what we had to do differently. First of all, it was a great learning, learned lots. And then secondly, probably the biggest thing for us was more record, just keeping track better on the um, animal health side. And, you know, even though we, we knew what we were doing before, now we're tracking that everything gets, you know, put, put down in black and white on paper, you know, what, what was, uh, what vaccines were used when and where and what the withdrawal, you know, so all of those just, I'd say more documentation, which in hindsight, um, it's, it's, it's been an easy, um, step for us. And like I say, now we look at things a little bit differently now that we know these are the different criteria whether it might be an environmental thing or a water thing or an animal health thing, um, using pain mitigation, for example, now when we do our brandings, um, those different things were all things that we learned as we went through the process. So um, I would view it, and, and that's generally what I've heard from, from other producers, um, but it's, it's, it's been a good process for us to feel proud about what we're doing and the food that we're producing for Canadians. And then, you know, touching on sustainability, I'm wondering, you know, what does sustainability entail post-production? You know, say this, you know, this steer was raised in a really, really sustainable way on a farm in, say, Newfoundland. And then, you know, once it's slaughtered, it's transported, the meat's transported to, you know, Alberta, BC, something like that, you know, kind of negating all the sustainability in post-production with, you know, the, the amount of transport. So does that, is that something that the CRSB takes into consideration is, you know, post-production sustainability as well? So this program in itself is um, uh, measuring at, at the producer level. And then of course, processors have their own um, different indicators for processing standards. So they have the same thing um, with different indicators on that side with those same five um, topic areas. I think um, more broadly talking about, you know, once it leaves our, our ranch or our farm, um, things that are measured in the whole beef production system, like our greenhouse gas footprint, which encompass some of those transportation things that you're talking about are measured more from a whole industry perspective. And I can talk about those as well if you want, because I think that's that's part of what consumers are asking for. You know, we want to know that the, the cattle and the beef were raised, you know, in this 
you know, sustainable manner as we've defined within the CRSB with those five different um, key areas. But then at the same time, they want to know that the whole process from, as we call it, gate to plate um, is also sustainable. And back in 2016, the Canadian Roundtable for Sustainable Beef did a, a full benchmark um, assessment of the Canadian beef industry, everyone, not just within our certification um, uh, producers, but everyone. And of course, the end result was being able to show consumers and the world that we are one of the most sustainable um, beef producing countries in the world. So one of the stats that I like to use is, you know, only of Canada's total greenhouse gas emissions, only 2.4% comes from beef production. And we're looking to lower that some more. So, but that's one of the lowest in the world. And we're pretty proud of that. The other one that came from that report um, is that these lands that we run beef cattle on are also home to um, wildlife and that whole biodiversity piece that is so important. Um, if you take cattle away, then you know conservation people tell us so, so does the wildlife. And then the other piece is of course what it does to storing uh, carbon in the soil, right? People wanna, you know, especially after we're coming off this COP26 meeting and people are talking about carbon, um, certainly grazing lands stores in Canada, this same report gave us the number one and a half billion tons of carbon is stored in Canadian um, soils where cattle are, are being run. So there's some pretty kind of significant, important environmental news from that. But I also want to stress that the program, that certification program we're talking about is much more than environmental. We talk about animal health and welfare. We talk about taking care of the people and being involved in the community. You know, all those pieces is what we call sustainability. And thank you so much for your time today.